While intense clashes on the front line continue, new developments are also taking place. The offensive and defense strategies of the Ukrainian army on many fronts are yielding positive results. With the arrival of the winter months, the war has become more difficult for both armies. It has become very difficult to move on the front line, to supply the front line and to reinforce new troops. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky emphasized that he needed much more military equipment assistance with the arrival of the winter months. Zelensky said that Ukraine had recently received less aid and that this situation should change. However, the United States recently announced a major aid package to Ukraine. The Ukrainian army continues to resist Russian attacks on the front line. The Ukrainian army continues to repel these attacks by developing new strategies against Russian attacks in the direction of Kupiansk. The Ukrainian army reported that it managed to repel nine Russian attacks in the direction of Kupiansk. Russian attacks in the Liman direction were also repelled by the Ukrainian defense forces. Ukrainian defense forces repelled a Russian attack in the direction of Liman, trying to seize the positions they lost. Clashes continue in the Bakhmut region, where intense clashes have been taking place since the beginning of the war. Ukrainian forces managed to repel 10 Russian attacks in Bohdanivka, Ivanivska, Klitschivka and Andreevka regions. There are also developments in the Avdivka region, where the most intense clashes in the war have recently taken place and are still continuing. The Russian army cannot achieve the desired results in the attacks it continues in the north and south of Avdivka. Despite unsuccessful attacks, the Russians continue to send troops and equipment to the region. The Ukrainian army reported that 32 Russian attacks around Novobakhmutivka, Stepove, Tonenke and Pervomaiske were successfully repelled. What do you think about the developments on the front line?